What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I show you how to get unique items and armor in Fallout 4. In this video I'll be showing you where you can get the T60 power armor really easily early on. The T60 power armor is the second best armor in the game without mods. It's the one the Brotherhood of Steel wear. The armor has 1550 total damage resistance with all the parts on. Much better than the next best, the T-51, that only has 1,115 armor. The T-60 also has a great energy resistance of 645 and a radiation resistance of 1,050. It's as heavy as the other power armor, not that that really matters because you're wearing it all the time. And you can, of course, mod it. So to get this whole set, you'll need to get to the part in the main quest line where you go to Fort Hagen. It's just here on the map, south from Vault 111. When you're done there, and you've cleared the building, upon leaving, you'll be greeted by this spectacle. It's the Brotherhood of Steel entering the Commonwealth. Carefully make your way down off the rooftop. Now that this event has happened, you will find that there's an increased chance to come across them in the wasteland. It usually triggers an event which I'm going to show you now. So just head down the hill. But actually, before you do, there was an energy weapon bobblehead and a couple of really useful magazines that you could find in the building we just left. So I'll leave a link in my other video showing you where to get those if you missed them in the description. So there is actually a chance you can get two sets of power armor out of this, and we're also going to be taking a few Brotherhood of Steel outfits like the Scribe. You might as well discover this location on the way if you haven't already, but take care because it's populated with ghoul. Just take your time and allow the Brotherhood of Steel to overtake you. Walk down towards the water treatment plant. When you get close, go into sneak mode and make a new save. Now take care around this area because these super mutants will probably instantly kill you with their rockets if they spot you at this level, so just stay hidden. You may see a fight break out in front of you, but sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, I'm going to show you what to do. If it does, it makes your life a bit easier. Head down to where the Brotherhood of Steel are in their van. They usually spawn here or around this area, if they don't spawn, just reload your save from inside the building at the start of the video and try again. Now stand near the Brotherhood and fire a few shots at the Super Mutants to piss them off. This will start a fight that the Super Mutants will win. Take care and run away and just observe from a distance, because it's a lot safer. <laughs> As you can see, there's even a vertebird coming to help. There's a chance it will drop off more troops in more power armor for you to steal. Once the chaos is over and the, and the Brotherhood of Steel have been annihilated, just sneak over and very carefully loot them.
Unfortunately, the Vertebird blew up too quickly to do much or drop off any troops. But near the van, you will you will definitely find a member of the Brotherhood of Steel in full T60 power armor that you can take and use for yourself. How exciting! Make sure you loot all the other corpses as well. I hope this video helps you out. I have some other guides on where you can find power armor scattered around the wasteland for free like this one. Just check out the description for those videos and you can also of course subscribe to the channel for more Fallout unique weapon videos. But until then, I ESO will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 guide.